What's going on, Swift RT Nation? I am back with another video for you guys. I hope you guys are motivated. I'm motiv motivated right now. I hope everyone's having a great day, chasing their goals, chasing their dreams. Man, it's a great day to be alive right now. And today's video is gonna be about five tips on how to stay motivated. And I know what you guys are trying to say, like, you know, Josh, you're, you're a small YouTube channel, you know, what makes you think you can make, make a video on five ways to stay motivated? Because I use these tips in everyday life. So I hope these five tips help you in staying motivated when you're having setbacks, failures, or when you're at the point of giving up. So let's get right on to the... Uh. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Josh, AKA SwiftRT, and I am a reaction and fitness channel. So my fitness mostly revolves around running, but right now I can't do a lot of running because I have an injury right now. I'm gonna leave a link in the card if you guys wanna know more information about what my knee injury is, but I made the latest video on it. But today's video is gonna be on five tips on how to stay motivated. So sit back, relax, and just listen. First tip. What is your why? That's the most important one. There has to be a reason why you're waking up in the morning. There has to be a reason why you're doing something. There comes the points when we do lose track of our why. You know, we get unmotivated or we say that this is a waste of time. We start losing focus. So to remind yourself that what your why is, you can have like a inspirational quote that you look by. You know, the quote that I look at every single day is, um, in the end, we only regret the chances that we didn't, didn't take. This is like the most crucial quote that I look up, up every single day. Or you can also have pictures of a close family member, close friends that you're doing this, for, doing this for. Or you can also be doing this for yourself as well to prove people that you are good enough to like, you know, get this job, you know, get a career in this or start a YouTube channel. There's like so many reasons why we do something. And the stronger your why is, the stronger your drive is gonna be. Tip number two goals and plan and what i mean by this one is that you got to be consistent you got to have smart goals and you got to be consistent in achieving those goals so what i mean by smart goals if you guys don't know what that is it's smart measurable attainable realistic and time -based. like more like short-term goals to reach to your more of your long-term goals so let's say if your goal at the end of the year is to hit 500 subscribers or even hit a thousand subscribers on youtube how are you going to do that? What are you going to do each week to get to that goal? Or even in life too, like, especially if you're an athlete, like I want to run a 158-800. I want to run uh, 1459 in a, in a 5K. Or I want to lose 30 pounds at the end of the year. What are you going to do each week to attain to that goal? I see a lot of people think of long-term goals, but when they just look at those long-term goals and they don't see what they're doing each week. They, they get unmotivated and they don't do it anymore. Having a, having a goal, sub goals and planning ahead of like planning those goals each week is gonna help you get to your long-term goal and it's gonna help you get motivated. And this leads me to tip number three, which is have a routine, you know? If you want to, if you have a great routine, like a great morning routine that you wake up to, that you do every single morning, it's going to be very beneficial. The first hour of the day is the most crucial part of your day. What do you do when you wake up? Do you go right onto your phone and look at social media? Or you look at what other people are doing, you scroll, scroll on your Instagram and just see what other people are doing and start comparing yourself to other people? Or do you, you, do you get up in the morning fresh, do some yoga, go exercise, you know, meditate to get the right mindset in, you know? That's, it's very crucial how you wake up in the morning. My morning routine when I get up is that I wake up, listen to some music, meditate for five minutes, and then I watch like an inspirational quote to get me to get me in a great positive mindset throughout the day. And if I have time, I will go for a run or I'll just do my PT, right? As I'm injured right now, I'll do my PT just to get, to get my body going. And then I'll go on and start my day, get my work done, go to work and so forth. Having consistent routine is going, is going to make a huge difference. What you repeat over and over again is what you're gonna eventually become. Number four, people. You become who you surround yourself with. This is, an, this is like my, this is a very important one as well. Do you surround yourself with people that are positive, that inspires you, that challenges you? Or do you surround yourself with people that, you know, that gives up easily, that that's always negative? 
towards when a challenge is when a challenge comes. I like to surround myself with inspiring people, especially on social media. I like to follow very inspirational people. You know, like, because it also goes into social media as well. Like, who do you follow? Do you follow people that talks a lot of, that does like a lot of drama, that does a lot of like, talks about what others, what someone else is doing? Or do you follow someone that inspires you, tells you to grow, tells you to, you know, go after your goals and so forth, you know? So, especially like we're all around a lot of social media nowadays, you know, you have to be careful who you follow. You know, follow people that inspires you and that wants you to grow and be better than what you than what you were yesterday. Last one is number five, which is love the grind, guys. I'm telling you this hard enough. Even though I'm a small YouTuber, I love the grind because what happens when you love the grind is that you're going to see your success. You're going to see your progress. Trust in the progress. There's going to be a lot of setbacks a lot of failures but you are going to grow from your experiences trust me that's what's going to keep you motivated if you love the grind and you're passionate about what you're doing you, over time you're going to start seeing you're going to start seeing success and you're going to start seeing yourself grow struggles are real guys there are going to be times where you're going to be facing adversity adversity is going to be coming knocking on your door and it's up to you if you want to open that door and face it head on or run or run away or just hide back inside you know it's up to you to decide that you know you got to love the grind you got to love what you're what you're doing if you don't then there's not going to be any fun of, fun in it and you're going to be quickly to you know quit more easily than someone that's loving what they're doing all right guys that's it for the video i hope you guys really enjoyed it i hope these tips really help you a lot because they help me a lot as well these are the five tips that i live by every day just to stay motivated in life also stay motivated when i'm dealing with my injury just to stay motivated in general and i really hope this video helps you guys if you liked it smash that like button smash it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media and i'm out